Hi guys, hope you're all okay. Hope you're all having a really good day. Before we start, can you go down and click that like button for us, please? And it really helps, really helps Tracy out and helps the channel. And could you also hit that subscribe if you're not already subscribed so you can be notified of any new or no up and coming podcasts or any new content that's coming out or any new competitions and stuff like that. Okay. I am going to speak to you today. Now, it's going to be really, really difficult to, because there's a lot of this I'm not going to be, I'm not supposed to talk about, but people who have been listeners to the Exit Light stuff, and especially to the stuff I've talked about, know that I'm ex, ex army, ex military. Now, I was in the infantry a long time ago. And because of that, I've got friends who worst until the end of last year was serving in the Navy and had served a long time, had done sort of 22, 23 years. And we kept in touch, we'd been out a few times, especially living down, well, I'm from Manchester, but living down in Cornwall, not a million miles away from Portsmouth and from Plymouth, so when they did get home, we often used to go out. Now, I am going to tell you a story, it's not going to be hugely, hugely long, but I'm not going to mention who's who the guy was, well it was a couple of guys actually, but there is a lot of, um, the subjects of UFOs has popped its head up again with the Bob Lazar um, documentary, which we're going to be doing a podcast about. Um, I haven't watched the documentary yet. I'm going to watch it later on today, but I wanted to do this first. Okay. My friend, let's call him John, for argument's sake. John was on a NATO exercise. And they were up, they were up by and around Greenland and from the North Pole down around Greenland that area and it was a huge exercise really really big exercise with obviously it's NATO so it's forces from all around the world and they were out one day um, it was early morning the first time it was early morning. Now he was he was out on um, he was out on deck, and he was a. Got to be careful here. Got to be really really careful. Right, basically he was out on deck. I'm not going to tell you what he was doing, but basically he was looking around and looking. Um, and it was freezing, freezing cold. The weather was really, really bad. As you would expect. It was um, winter time anyway. So um, it, it was really, really bad. The weather. And it was really cold. And the conditions were, weren't good. So him and another friend were out on deck. And they felt... A vibration now obviously you've got the normal feeling of a ship going up and down and obviously up and down with the waves because it was bad it was bad weather but they could feel like a vibration and it was like a metallic sort of hum which was different from all the sounds of the ship now if you've been in the navy for such a long time you will know every single sound You'll, probably, you'll be able to tell how fast the ship's going, everything. But this was a separate vibration. And it was coming from, it felt like it was coming not from the ship. So they, they looked over and up the side of the ship and they couldn't see anything. And they were looking and then this, this vibrate this vibration was getting more and more and 
they noticed a glimmer under the water quite deep and then it disappeared and then it came back and then it disappeared and then it came back now they couldn't understand what they were looking at was it a reflection from the summit in the sky they couldn't understand what they were seeing anyway they kept looking down into the water and a few people then a few of the, of the crew noticed what they were doing and had come over and they were they said well we've just seen something under the water and that the, the, the glimmer had gone now obviously everybody thought they were losing their minds because when the people the other people had come over they couldn't see anything underneath the water the ship was traveling at, at quite quite a fast speed i don't i don't know how many knots the ship was going um but then this orangey green discs like shape under the water was really really became quite bright it was still maybe i don't know it was under the ship partly part of it was under the ship it was huge and it was keeping it was keeping time with the ship now a few of the officers came out as well and they witnessed what they they witnessed so this wasn't a submarine they knew they know what submarines look like and a submarine would not on a nato exercise would travel underneath a, a warship which basically is what they were on on a destroyer anyway this disc of light sped away under the water at a ridiculous speed absolutely ridiculous speed and they couldn't understand what they were what they were seeing now they were all took inside or asked to come in oh well, you don't get you don't get asked in the army you get told what the in the military they were told to come inside and it was they were told not to speak about this at all not to mention it um not to mention it at all to anybody and it was just something it was they they fobbed them off with some kind of excuse which i can't actually remember now but he did have a photograph and i have seen the photograph of this object underneath the water a yellowy greeny color it looked like a lit if, if you can imagine a diamond a glimmering diamond underneath the water but lit up that's that's my interpretation of what the picture shows and he was gonna was gonna give me a copy of the photograph and we were gonna release it onto the group but I haven't been in touch with him for a while or he hasn't been in touch with me for a while and I don't think he will do that now he's he's not prepared to do that so um, I just thought it would be interesting to tell you guys especially with the UFO thing and the I don't want to get into the Bob Lazar thing because that's something that we're going to do a podcast on so anyway I'd love to hear what you think in the comments and Remember to hit that like button and I will speak to you again soon and look look out for the podcast because we are going to be going live again now so you can have some interaction with, with the people on the channel so that will be brilliant. So anyway guys you take care of yourselves and I will speak to you soon.